Hello everyone and welcome to our new video where today we are going to be checking out the top 5 best HP laptops in the market in 2018. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you wanna find out the price and more information about these laptops, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. Also, if you could win one of these laptops, which one would it be? Leave a reply in the comment section below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 we have the HP MV13. The HP MV13 has for the past couple of years been one of the best laptops for people who want style and performance without a crazy price tag. This 2017 model adds real gaming performance while reducing the footprint of the laptop. It's portable, it has the power for real work and it can even play games. All HP MV13 models have a nice looking old aluminum shell where the metal is on the show and given an anodized finish for a smart look. HP's design inflection of choice at the moment is all about sharp angles and severe edges. This model weighs around 1.40 kg and is 14mm thick. There are lighter, thinner laptops around, but to get one with anything approaching this spec, you'll have to pay significantly more. The connectivity is not impressing on this laptop, since most of the ultra-thin laptops don't have a lot of slots. It has two USB 3.0 ports, two USB-Cs and a microSD slot, plus a headphone jack and a standard cylindrical power jack. Moving on to the trackpad, there's no fingerprint scanner, but the HP Envy does have a glass trackpad rather than a plastic one. This lets you move your finger back and forth as quick as you like over it without the squeaky resistance you'll feel with a plastic pad. The screen on this laptop is outstanding. It has an ultra thin border, making it look like a cutting edge display. This is also a touchscreen, a feature missing from many famous alternatives such as the MacBook and some Alienware laptops. It has a 1080p IPS panel with a glass top surface and good performance in all areas. Newer laptops have really bad battery because of all the features they have, but the MV13 has a pretty good battery life and it can last for a full day if you are not gaming or doing any other heavy work. This is an excellent laptop for work trips, travelers and roaming workers. Its speakers are reasonable too. They sit on the HP MV13 underside for a sound stage wider than the laptop itself. Overall, the HP MV13 is a great laptop for those who want something portable, good looking, long lasting and able to play games almost improbably well for such a slight machine. Next up, at number 4 we have the HP Notebook 15.6 inch 2018. This matte black laptop has a handsome frame with a grooved texture on top and to the sides of the touchpad. It sports a 15.6 inch screen with a native 1366 by 7068 resolution. The keyboard is comfortable and responsive, but the touchpad's dedicated left and right click buttons are a bit stiff for my taste, requiring more pressure than I would have liked. The sound from the dual front speakers is good, and volume is typical for a general purpose laptop, suitable for a small room. On the laptop's right side are a USB 2.0 port, an optical drive bay that holds a DVD rewritable drive, an SD card reader and a slot for Kensington lock cable. The left side has a jack for the power plug, a USB 3.0 port, a second USB 2.0 port, an HDMI port, an internet port and an audio out jack for headphones. Under the hood of this laptop, there is a 7th generation Intel Core i5-7200U processor accompanied by integrated Intel HD Graphics 620. This graphics card is not suitable for gaming, but you can always upgrade it if you want. What I like the most about this laptop is that it has a 1TB hard drive and 6GB of DDR4 RAM, which is more than enough to get your daily tasks completed without any lag or stuttering. If you want to use an external monitor, you can take advantage of the HDMI port and connect a monitor to this laptop. This will allow you to multitask easily without any problems, because the laptop can handle multitasking to some extent. Overall, it's a very good laptop for your daily tasks, but I wouldn't recommend it for heavier use such as video editing or gaming, because it will be slow and won't get a lot of job done like the other laptops in this price range. However, if you are purchasing it for lighter use, then this laptop will fulfill all your needs. Moving on, at number 3 we have the HP Pavilion Power 15. HP is pushing the limits on how powerful a pavilion system can be without calling it a gaming notebook. The Pavilion 15 Power is the best and potentially most expensive in the series yet. The Pavilion 15 Power is an evolution of both the Pavilion 15T and Pavilion 15Z. Its HQ class KB Lake processor and GTX 1050 GPU target mainstream gamers and heavy multimedia users who would rather not spend a little more on the HP Omen series. One of the best aspects of the HP Pavilion Power is a full HD screen which is very sharp and offers great colors. The viewing angles are also really good. Adding to the entertainment quotient of the device, the audio is powered by B&O, however, the audio was a bit disappointing when compared to other laptops, because it doesn't have that much clarity and if you turn the volume up to its highest, you will start to hear a bit of distortions. It also offers users the ability to select the audio mode of their preferences, such as music, movie and voice, and that can be good. 
Given that the HP Pavilion power is powered by a 7th generation Intel Core i7 processor with 16GB of RAM, performance will not be an issue at any stage while using this device. It will do everything wonderfully well and that too without heating up at any stage. Basically this laptop is a great choice for people who want to do a lot of video and photo editing without any overheating or lag. Gaming laptops typically suffer from short battery life, but that's not the case with the Power 15 because on normal usage the battery can last you up to 12 hours. This is pretty nice since most of the laptops in this category can last for half that time. As for the connectivities, it has one USB 3.1 Type-C port, three USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, one HDMI and one headphone microphone combo. If you are looking for a powerful Windows laptop, then this is clearly one of the best laptops out there. Given the size and the weight as well as the use case, I think this would be more of a desktop replacement than a laptop you would carry around all the time. Overall, it's a pretty nice laptop that can be used for both gaming and working on. It has a lot of power you can take advantage of, so if you are looking for a laptop that can handle some heavy usage, then the Power 15 is your answer. Next up, at number 2 we have the HP Omen 15. The HP Omen is one of the best laptops for gaming made by HP. HP has worked hard to create consistent designs across its various product lines, and it's obvious that they succeeded to do that with the Omen 15 because it simply looks amazing. With budget gaming laptops, you get what you pay for. The HP Omen 15 is a capable machine that can play the latest games at 1080p, and you get this solid performance in a sleek and portable design. The Omen 15T has enough ports to support a small gaming station, including the USB 3.0 port, HDMI, Gigabit Internet, an SD card reader and a power jack on the right. Along the left, you'll find a pair of USB 3.0 ports with a headset jack and a secure lock slot. Under the hood of this laptop, there is a 7th generation i7 processor accompanied by the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti graphics card which can run most of the games on mid to high settings easily. It also has 12GB of RAM which is more than enough for multitasking and doing your daily work. The Omen's 15.6 inch display can reproduce only 71% of the sRGB color gamut, which is below the 95% mainstream average, however, it's reasonable for the price. Equipped with a pair of top mounted speakers and subwoofer along its undercarriage, the Omen 15 delivers great audio which can fill a small to medium room with quality audio. This is a laptop which can be used for gaming, work, studying and many more things. It's very lightweight and you can carry it with you anywhere you go if you have a laptop backpack. If you don't have a laptop backpack, you can check out our video on the best laptop backpacks by checking out the card that will appear on the screen. The only thing I don't really like about this laptop is its battery life. Compared to most of the gaming laptops on the market, this one seems to underperform, so if you plan to use it all day, you will always need to carry a charger with you around. However, if you use it at home, you will probably have it plugged in all the time so this shouldn't be a huge problem. Overall, the HP Omen 15 is a great laptop which doesn't cost too much considering what it has to offer, so I would recommend it to everyone that is looking for a good laptop that can handle heavy usage. To finish off our list, at number 1 we have the HP Spectre X360. If you're looking for a laptop that stands out from the rest, well, look no further. The HP Spectre X360 is the most attractive 2-in-1 laptop I've ever seen. This laptop doesn't just have a pretty design. This machine has some serious power under the hood. Equipped with top tier internals, the Spectre is capable of handling people like me who love to multitask all the time. In addition to the vibrant touchscreen and generous viewing angles, it also comes with a stylus, which is perfect for professional artists or for people who can't stand smudge marks. The 13-inch laptop, weighing a little under 3 pounds, might have a small frame, but don't let that fool you because this Titan actually delivers a lot of power. Under the hood, you'll find an Intel Kaby Lake i7-7500U processor, an NVIDIA 940MX Thunderbolt graphics card, 16GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD. Aside from the aesthetic changes, the Ability Spectre X360 makes a huge splash with a new micro edge display that reduces the bezels on the sides of the screen to a much squatter 0.54mm. Compared to the thick bars on the older model, HP has made a huge improvement. The keyboard cuts a fairly low profile, which prevents it from feeling awkward when you grip the backside of the laptop in a tablet mode. Despite the thin build, the keys still feel good to type on, offering more travel than most of the laptops in this category. The Spectre X360's 13.3 inch 1080p display provides solid amount of color that pop out and it especially looks amazing when watching movies or playing games on it. The audio is outstanding since the Bang and Olsen tweak speakers in the Spectre X360 allow this tiny machine to blast a lot of sound. With a stylish look, a super slim build, a gorgeous 4K display and serious speed, the latest version of the HP Spectre X360 is one of the best high-end convertible laptops on the market and I would definitely recommend this laptop to everyone that is looking for a high quality and durable laptop.
Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If you wanna find out the price and more information about these laptops, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. And if you have any questions related to them, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.